So in the Season 2 update, you might have seen this new event called the Horde Hunt, and basically you need to collect skulls and bones, and the final reward is this Swagger Killshot skin, which looks dope, especially for a free skin. I'm basically going to be running through it, explaining it, and showing you the fastest way that I know of so far to get these bones and skulls, and I'm going to show you how it works. Before I do, quick word from my sponsor, if you are interested in any Call of Duty services, go ahead and check out the link down below, they can host spot lobbies, give you pre-made accounts which has FN already unlocked on it, 100% trustworthy, check them out, the link is down below. So at the moment we can only collect bones and we can only collect skulls. And there's also two sectors that are locked at the moment and it says coming soon. Once you complete all of the sectors, the final reward is the operator skin. I've tested all of the different methods. You can do this on Warzone, you can do this on multiplayer and you can do this on zombies. And the best and fastest method I found was to go onto multiplayer and play the Horde Point Armored Apocalypse game mode. If you look on the minimap, you'll see these zombies. You can basically see them because they are different to everyone else's red ping and you can see the location of them and every single hard point they will start to spawn next to it and you can basically farm these zombies really really easily especially if you pick up one of the weapons that they drop because I'm pretty sure they do more damage to the zombies and they will die quicker. You want to make sure you also keep picking up the different power-ups as well there's nukes there's insta kills there's max ammo all of that and this is definitely going to help you and you're gonna get this done really, really quick. Like I said before, two of the sectors of the challenge are locked, so we will have to wait until we can complete those, but this will still be the same strategy in order to unlock the other challenges as well, and this is definitely the fastest method. Make sure to subscribe for more, and I'll keep you guys updated if I find any other methods to make this even faster.